Hello everybody, it's Miss Sarah. Thanks so much for joining me again for World Culture Wednesday. At San Diego Children's Discovery Museum, we love learning about new cultures from all over the world. And today we are headed to Indonesia. Indonesia is a country in Southeast Asia, and it is made up of over 17,000 islands. It sits right on the equator, so it has a tropical climate with diverse plants and animals. Indonesia is known for some of its art, including wood carvings, weaving, and beautifully designed textiles called batik. Batik is a style of wax-resist art that uses cloth, dye, and wax. To create batik, the artist draws a picture or design onto a piece of fabric using hot wax. The fabric is then dyed a new color, and when the wax is removed, you can see the original color of the fabric underneath. Today, we are going to be making our own version of this using a similar technique. Let's check out the materials we'll need. Before you get started with this activity, you are going to want to cover and protect any surfaces you might be working on. You will need a white piece of paper, some crayons, paint and a paint brush. Watercolors are going to work best for this project, but you can also just water down some tempera paint like I have done today. Step one, using your crayons, draw a picture onto your piece of paper. I have already drawn mine using a white crayon, so you won't be able to see my picture until we add the paint. Step two, Add some paint to your picture. You should be able to see your drawn on design through the paint. When your art has dried, you will be able to see the crayon through the paint just like the hot wax resisting the dye in traditional batik. Thanks for learning a little bit about Indonesia with me today, and I hope to see all of you again next week. Bye everyone.